Hey guys, this is Echo Sauerx, and you're checking out a tip and trick tutorial video on ADSR. So this one actually center, centers around an iOS and a more of an Apple Mac specific tip and trick tutorial video. And I'm going to show you how you can use your iPhone or your iPod as essentially an audio interface in Logic Pro X. So I didn't know that this was an option until very recently. And I don't think a lot of people know about it and it's pretty darn cool. So what you see on screen right now is me talking into Logic Pro X. And then down at the right, what you're looking at is a app called Vogel CMI. If you don't know what the CMI is, uh, it stands for Computer Musical Instrument and it was most famously called the Fairlight CMI. It was the first sampler really of all time. It was a, it was a touch screen digital sampler that was made in 1979 and the thing cost hundreds of thousands of dollars back then. So it's really the godfather to a lot of the stuff that we use today. And there's an app, curiously enough, made by Peter Vogel Instruments. And for some reason, I don't know why, he's never made a soft synth software version of this, but he decided to make an app. I don't know, It's the actual full version costs about 50 bucks. So, but it comes with the entire library and we're gonna check it out. So basically what I'm gonna be able to do is record sounds into Logic using that app. I could also record voice notes. I could do a lot of different things in the iOS world and then just get it directly into Logic. I also happen to have a Bluetooth keyboard that I use when I travel that you can pair and have the Bluetooth keyboard sync to my iPhone or my iOS device and then use my iOS device as my audio interface and then I can use any of the synths or you know any of the iOS software to generate sounds. So let's check it out. So I'm gonna go to disk control here in this page and you can see I'm gonna load up uh, Let's load up, let's load up a guitar, why not? So let's do a fuzz guitar four. So I'm gonna load this up. Okay, I'm playing it and you can hear, or you can't hear, there's no sound, right? So what I'm gonna do real quick is I'm gonna show you how you can get sound into Logic. So first thing you're gonna need to do is plug in your iPhone into a USB port and then go to your audio MIDI setup. I would just search for it in in Finder, just type in audio and it usually comes up. I already have it open, so I'm not gonna do that again, but audio MIDI setup, then go to window and you wanna show audio devices if it doesn't already. And then what you're gonna wanna do is you're, wanna, you're gonna wanna click on the iPhone and you're gonna click enable. All right, so now we're back and we're gonna go back into Logic Pro, we're gonna go to preferences, we're gonna go to audio. Now I have it set on input of my USB interface I'm using right for this uh, for this video right now I'm gonna change the input device to the iPhone I'm gonna leave the output device set to the Scott to i2 because I'm monitoring through that with headphones then I'm gonna hit apply changes and then what we're gonna do is we're gonna play the Fairlight CMI app here on the iPhone and we should get sound directly into this arm track in logic <laughs> All right, so as you can see and hear via the ARM track in Logic, the sound coming from my iPhone was going directly into the DAW. So this actually has some uses outside of iOS devices. You could use this to sample sounds from YouTube or TV shows or whatever you wanted to play through your iPhone. You could also, if you're a hip hop producer, go find an old, old school like Soulsy Motown style record play the intro or the outro, which is usually just instrumentals, and use that as a great starting point to chop up and make a classic hip hop style beat. So that sums up this look at how to use an iOS device as your audio interface. If you guys have any questions or comments, feel free to hit me up. I know this video was a little bit different than the typical types of videos that I do, but hopefully you found it interesting nonetheless. All right, guys, like I said at the beginning of the video, I'm Echo Soundworks. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you guys next time.